Hello again, and welcome to Like Television's preview of coming attractions for Monday, October 11th. Here's what's going to be new on Like Television next week. The Movie Channel will be adding two new movies to its playlist next week. First of all, we have a dark comedy, The Entertainer, starring Sir Lawrence Olivier as the washed-up song and dance man, Archie Rice. It's a quite different kind of role for possibly the greatest Shakespearean actor of our time. But the fact that Olivier doesn't really sing or dance very well to begin with adds a chilling finality to his portrayal of an aging entertainer whose time has come and gone. Such a state, Sir Hudgens, face mount, because I can't hardly wait, Sir Hudgens, face mount again. The movie critics have called this film both the best and the worst performance of his career. But you watch it. You be the judge. You've been a, a good audience. Very good. A very good audience. Let me know where you're working tomorrow night. I'll come and see you. Here's something else you can judge, and probably should. It's the Memphis Bell, brought to you by the U.S. government and paid for with American tax dollars. This film documentary tells the story of a squadron of U.S. bombers flying out of England during World War II. You'll see government individuals riding their majestic watermelons of death while playing a happy cowboy tune. You'll see their ceremonial departure. Bless these bombs, O oh Lord, that they may kill many and destroy much in the north, the south, the east, and the west. Amen. And their triumphant return. So we can bomb the enemy again and again and again until he has had enough. And then we can all come home. So, if you're warlike, or if you just like war, you're going to love the Memphis Bell. And I'm going to hell. But on a brighter note, the Music Video Channel will be featuring three new artists next week. They've got Jolene. Hobex. Love Riot. She walks, she runs, she tries to hide from all the feelings deep inside. No way to get. And don't forget to watch Like Television Live Tuesday night at 8 p.m. and Friday night at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And don't miss the continuing adventures, The Lost City. This week finds kindly old Dr. Manius kidnapped by hostile natives and condemned to a horrible death on the terrible torture stone. But not before he left what is now considered to be the very first voicemail. Not you, dear. Father left me a message. Watch. Not you, dear. Reynolds and Colton want me to meet you at the entrance. In case of error, meet me there. Do you know where it is? Yes. It's at the end of corridor 10. Let's go! Will they reach him in time? Or will he be shredded by their prehistoric Vegematic? Find out on The Lost City. Next week on Radar Men from the Moon, Commando Cody uses his flying suit to overtake Graber, who has kidnapped Joan and plans to hold her for ransom. And in this week's chapter of Shadow of the Eagle, a mysterious criminal who calls himself the Eagle is plotting against the directors of an airplane factory whom he has tried to frighten with warnings written on the sky in smoke and fire. The directors have reason to suspect that the Eagle is Nathan Gregory, owner of a small carnival show, who has accused them of stealing from him an invention that is worth a fortune. Agents of the Eagle, posing as relatives of Gregory, have railroaded him to a private sanitarium. But Gregory's daughter, Jean, also held captive in the sanitarium, has outwitted her nurse and phoned for help. Craig McCoy, stunt flyer with the carnival, 
has entered the sanitarium disguised in a surgeon's mask and smock, while his friend, the strong man, waits outside with a car to get Gregory away. Let me go. Let me go, I tell you. So, watch it all, free to you on demand, and thank you for watching previews of coming attractions on Black Television. Bless these bombs, O oh Lord, that they may kill many and destroy much in the north, the south, the east, and the west. Amen.